Doc Henson back with you. Um, today I'm going to do a little review, not on a gun, uh, not on something uh, in that format, but on a company. And the company is going to be Ruger. Um, I just want to give my opinion on what I think about Ruger customer service. Excuse me. Um, I've dealt with Ruger a few times because I've bought a good bit of Ruger firearms and with every single firearm you have you know you they're gonna break eventually if you fire too many rounds through it parts get wore out it's gonna be needed to fix um, just just stuff like that um, that pretty much goes for every gun that you have or that you ever will have you're gonna have some kind of problem somewhere down the line you'll have a problem with a gun. And it don't mean that the gun is bad or that the company's bad, it just means that eventually something can happen. So my experiences with them, um, you've seen the AR-556 rifle. You know, that one was good to go. That, that one still runs just fine. Um, the, the one that I had to send, send back to them was my Ruger SR-22 pistol and I actually had two of those pistols and they're very good guns. They run any kind of ammo you want through them. Unlike most semi-automatic pistols that are 22 caliber. The problem that I had is I did a lot of dry firing with it and a small piece on the inside of the slide broke and it let the firing pin actually hit the chamber you know, it was just one of them things. I dry fired it so much that that little part wore out and stopped. That stop it stopped the uh, firing pin from hitting the chamber. That part wore out, so then the firing pin was actually hitting it, and it made a small indention. And so I called them up, called them. They told me to send it in. They sent me a free shipping label. It took two days to get there. It took three days for them to fix the gun, and I received it two days later. And so around a week. Uh, turnaround time on that um, can't be can't be a week I've uh, talked to some other manufacturers before and it's been you know two months of wait time that's, that's ridiculous but the thing that really surprised me with Ruger is they and I didn't ask for it but they sent me an extra magazine for the pistol and they sent me two of these cloths here two of these and an extra magazine and they fix the gun for free and everybody knows that Ruger don't really have like a warranty on their guns it's just like a a thing that they do if their guns break you they, they'll fix it for free it don't matter and that's where I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the next thing I dropped my Ruger SR 22 off of a table at the range and it, uh, it was on the table and I think something knocked it over, but anyway, it dropped and it chipped a piece of the barrel on the end of it. Totally my fault. So I called them. I said, Hey, uh, this is what I did. I said, uh, how much, how much is it going to be to fix this, fix this barrel? They told me to, that they'll send me a free prepaid shipping uh, label. And again, it was there in two days. They fixed it. This time it took about a week to fix it. And it was back to me within two weeks. And that was all my fault. And I told them I would pay for it. And, you know, they just did it for free. So, you know, I, I've heard other people having that good experience also with them. And that's just a good company that no matter what you do their product, they know their product so so good. And they stand behind it so much that they'll fix it. And they don't charge you for it. They just fix it. Uh, you'll find a lot of manufacturers don't want to do that. Just just recently, uh, I had a part break on uh, one of my 22 rifles. I'm not going to mention the manufacturer in this video, but uh, the part broke. They sent me another part. I put it on. It broke a week later. P pretty much just cheap parts that are breaking. It's supposed to be a big company. And uh, the second time when I did it, I said, you know, this is getting to be a little old having to get a new part you know every week to fix this gun um, 
do y'all give out anything like when y'all send new parts or anything? And I ask them if they could send me like a t-shirt or some uh, decals or something. You know, uh, I, I like stuff like that. I can throw stickers on my uh, safe here or whatever. But uh, the guy said, no, we don't do that. And he didn't want to send me <laughs> the part that time, but I got him to send it. But anyway, back to Ruger. The second time that happened, I was thinking, man, you know, I just got off real good. I dropped, uh, dropped the gun on the concrete. It broke, and they fixed it for free. I'm doing good. Well, guess what? I got the gun back, and I had another free magazine in it and another one of these uh, cloths inside the box. It was all free. And to me, it would have been just fine if they would have fixed it. But not only did they fix it, they sent me something else just because I was having to send my gun in and not have my gun for a, a certain amount of time. But uh, I think Ruger has some of the best customer service in the firearm industry. And, uh, you know, I say if you, if, you, if you need a firearm, Ruger's a good company to buy from just because of that. No matter what happens, they'll stand behind their product. And if you get a company like that, that's what you want. So uh, that's it for this video. Just wanted to give my opinion on, on the Ruger customer service and uh, let everybody know what, what my experiences was with them. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to uh, subscribe to see more content, feel free to do so. I'd appreciate it. And y'all have a good one.